we first noticed experimentally, the graphene was always moving. It's a sheet of atoms, so there's surfaces on both sides that are exposed. It's like studying the surface of the ocean. And it really lent itself to the possibility that maybe one could use that as a source of energy. What was thought to be not possible was harvesting energy just from the heat of the Earth. So the question was, can this kinetic energy of the graphene be utilized to charge these storage capacitors, which we can then use to power some electronic devices. This breakthrough says that is possible, and we call that nonlinear thermoelectric power. We think of it as a battery replacement, like inside the hull of an aircraft. You might have metal fatigue sensors throughout the aircraft, but you really can't take it apart and replace all the batteries every six months. The goal is to come up with this device to operate these sensors. And since we're kind of the first to find this new source of power, we can study how does it behave in other situations. There's still research to be done on what's the best way to organize these components in a circuit layout to make it easier to get access to this power and to get more power to help us take this basic discovery and turn it into devices, which could ultimately maybe improve society.